I am doing a painting here where I already have the drawing done on a mass-produced printed canvas panel. I'm putting, I have the background, the outline and the details done with acrylics so that I can do it all in one sitting. I did the white first with the uh, palette knife and now I'm putting in a dark brown, probably burnt umber. I have two palette knives, a skinny one and a bigger one. And I'm putting in a vermilion, which I like to use for sh um, for the blush area and some sort of a, I think, yellow chromium, chrome yellow. And going through and doing details with the brush when needed, blending in the white area with the dark area with my smaller um, <clears throat> palette knife. Going back and doing the feathers with the palette knife. Now I'm putting black for the long neck of the goose. I spread it thick like peanut butter with my big palette knife. And then I go back and texture. Here it's spreading. Take my brush, get the corners, add some loose hair or feathers along the edges. Working on the beak a little bit, the bill. And then I added in some vermilion as a highlight. Vermilion is a reddish orange color. And then I'm using my small palette knife to do small feather texture on the neck. Next, I'm working on the chest breast area, and I made up a muddy color, white, and some burnt umber, and a little bit of black, and a little bit of chromium yellow. And then it made a nice muddy color that goes real well with this um, canvas printed panel that I'm working with. That's part of the challenge with working over printed art is that I have to work with their colors and, and make them all go together and of course if you've ever ordered anything from me you know I really like a good challenge. So I'm laying in the main color with my large palette knife and some basic shaded area and high, highlight areas and then I go through and start making the texture go the way I want it to go like feathers. And with my brush and did the feathers sticking out along the edges. Uh, that paper I just showed, that's where I wipe my palette knife on and it's just the scrap papers that I keep on my desk, uh, past paintings, adding some vermilion to the breast again. I'm really into recycling so I don't even use paper towels much. I just wipe my palette knife on the old paper from past paintings. And then I'm adding in some black feathers with a brush and keeping that same pattern going. I really ended up liking the texture of the body of the goose. I don't like to have to do every single detail, so I like it when I can find a way to imply all those feathers without painting every single tiny feather. Now I'm laying in a good rich brown for the rest of the body area. Nice and thick like you're doing peanut butter. And then go through and do the edges. Blend where the two colors meet. The muddy color and the brown color. And then I did the texturing. Made the feather shapes. And this time I used my small palette knife to add in white feathers. You can do a lot with those palette knives once you learn how to use them. And it's hard, you just cannot get the same kind of texture with a brush. So I put them in there and 